Good evening, friends, families, and graduates. At this time, would everyone who can please rise and remove your hats for the playing of the national anthem. You may now be seated. Welcome to the commencement ceremony of the East High School Class of 2018. My name is Morgan Wigman, your senior class president, and I will be attending UW-Eau Claire in the fall. Thank you, Thank you to Mrs. Karen Eichen and the band for playing our processional. Please join me in giving a round of applause to the members of our graduating class who have all worked so hard for the past four years to be here today. We are gathered here this evening to recognize our hard work and dedication, celebrate our accomplishments, and relish in the memories we've made during our time here at East High. Today, we start our journey into adult life Equipped with knowledge and support provided to us by our time at East High, we head into the unknown, ready for new experiences and opportunities. Without further ado, let's begin our 2018 graduation ceremony. I would now like to introduce to you our first speaker, Valeria Tavares, who will be attending NWTC in the fall. Thanks, Morgan. <laughs> Good evening, Superintendent Langenfeld, Principal Ferk, classmates, family members, that lady that drove me to school once, and the FBI agent tuning into this microphone. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. For those of you who live under a rock, like my relatives, it's June 3rd, just another day except for the fact this will be the first time and the last time we will be in one room together, which might be a good thing. As Morgan said, I'm Valeria Tavares, formerly known as Valeria Benavides, also known as Valerie, or maybe Valencia, to substitutes. I was also mistaken as the Peruvian exchange student at some point. But despite you guys not knowing me, we went to high school together. And just so there isn't any misconceptions about me, I'm not the valedictorian. Although I really did miss my chance on being called Val, the valedictorian. Special thanks to Mrs. Ferk and Dr. Langenfeld and our amazing associate principals, Mr. Brooker, Mr. Julian, Mrs. Lip, and Mr. Malian for creating a safe environment to learn in. And for that, I thank you. And most importantly, thanks to the teachers who had to deal with us for the past four years, or maybe more. And thanks 
to my classmates, who had to deal with me and other classmates' angst period. It's an honor to be up here to speak to all of you about East High School. Right now, my parents are freaking out that I managed to be on stage in more than probably 20 people. As a child, I was a kid who was scared to hit a piñata. Despite being shy, my dad helped me hit that piñata more than once in my life. They helped me become the person you see today. They've helped me conquer the piñatas in my way for the past 18 years of life. Whether that was a boo-boo on my knee or getting hit by a Tahoe, they've done so much for me, and, I, and they have sacrificed so much for my education. So I just want my parents to know that I love them very much, and I would like to remind my classmates to let their parents know what they mean to them. Although, let's get to the real reason we are here today. Our graduating class of 2018, the ones with the cap and gowns, you might have seen us around. I just want to roll back a couple of years with you guys to the year it all started. Let me just set the scene. <clears throat> the year, it's 2014. Vine is alive and well. The song, Let It Go, was blasting in our local radio stations. And our summers were filled with endless ALS ice bucket challenges. But we all knew where we were going that fall. East High School, home of the Red Devils. And we all remember our first day here at East, although some would like to forget. Although, let me refresh your memory. Do you remember the outfits we planned out weeks prior? I think of mine, and to be honest, I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrendous outfit. I envy my former self for even thinking that was cool. We didn't know who we were back then. Or even better, we didn't know where we were heading to. And that's the thing about high school. You find yourself. You create your own mold to break because we have the power to change ourselves, like to dye our hair with Kool-Aid or express ourselves in many different outlets. All of us have the choice to join clubs and be a part of East High School. We had the choice to love East High School, but now we have the power to change the world. American author Kurt Vonnegut states, a purpose of human life, no matter who is controlling it, is to love whoever is around to be loved. What matters to you? Is it money, expensive jewelry, or some Gucci slides? It seems like nowadays, we tend to care more about living the life of luxury, despite the fact that some of us will be college students which is the complete opposite of a life of luxury. But despite all that, we want to feel important. We want to rule the world and have everyone wrapped our little meaty fingers. But the ones who really do run the world won't know it. It's people like Nelson Mandela, Cesar Chavez, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and Malala, they have all achieved greatness for standing up with, for what they believe in, despite the uphill battle. And they have started out just like us, average. And they didn't do their revolutions with clenched fists and gritted teeth. They also didn't do all their protests in a tweet. Instead, they did by, they did, they conquered their obstacles by spreading love to all those deserving love which is the sole purpose in life, to leave a little bit of hope and happiness to those you cross paths with. And with that in mind, graduates, what is your legacy here at East High School? Because despite what you may think, we will not be remembered for our grades nor our popularity. Instead, it would be for the relationships we had with the staffs and students here at East High School. So classmates, look to your left and look to your other left and think, do I know these people? 
Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But the one thing you should know about this person is that they are also here for that diploma. And that is why we are here today. It's for that specific piece of paper that proves that we did it. We graduated. The diploma is also the cure for senioritis, although for some it is an incurable disease. But at the final hour or so, I like to finish with a quote said by yours truly, Valeri Tavares. You are not what you eat. If that were true, I would be a huge taco talking right in front of you right now. Not the Taco Bell taco, the, the Hispanic taco. So you aren't what you eat, but you are what you love. And if I'm right, we are East High. Thank you, graduating class of 2018. Thank you, Valeria. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the East High School Choir, directed by Mrs. Maureen Choflot.
Thank you, choir. Next up, we have our second speaker, Maddie Rogers, who will be attending UW Oshkosh in the fall. Thank you, Morgan. Good evening, Superintendent Langenfeld, Principal Firk, families, guests, and graduating class of 2018. We finally are here walking across the stage we've been aiding, waiting 18 years to walk across. And I know this is a big accomplishment, but for every single one of you, I know it's not the end. The class motto this year is, a purpose of a human life, no matter who is controlling it, is to love whoever is around to be loved, by Kurt Vonnegut. Often, when you are in school, you hear that we are all given an equal chance to succeed, but this is the farthest thing from the truth. Some people have enough money to go out to lunch every single day, and some people have been on free and reduced lunch for 13 years. Some people can go home and study for seven hours, and some people won't get home till 10.30 that night, whether it's work or countless hours in the gym for sports. We all lead different walks of life, and most of it is not because of our own decisions, but when you walk into East High, there are teachers, counselors, SROs, everywhere trying to make sure that while you are here, you are treated like you can and will do the best possible things. And even if you're anti-establishment and you truly think that no one is there to help you, there are 1,300 students who find themselves there with you. Maybe the strongest sense of community does come from the students themselves. We are all here to seek success in our own right, but we are also here to see each other succeed. I have to untake this. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Let's start out with when I was six. My school came to see the Wizard of Oz, and East was the biggest building I had ever seen in my life. The hallways were confusing, which I really don't get because I don't know if you guys have realized, but it's literally a square. And then, when I was 14, a freshman, which honestly feels like 100 years ago, I walked into East and it was the biggest building ever, and the hallways were still confusing, and the square concept wasn't different. Ever since I was here that first time, it seemed like a home I was slowly walking towards. And now, today, well, now it feels like a home I'm sadly rushing out of. Nevertheless, I was scared, but excited for high school. In all the movies, there were social groups, classes, cliques, and I'm not here to tell you they're not there because you've experienced it. However, when I walked into East, I had never picked up an instrument that wasn't a recorder in fourth grade, and I found friends that were music kids. Whether they were in jazz band, combo, orchestra, they're still people, and every single person at East is so dynamic. East does not limit you to being one thing. This isn't high school musical, where if you're on the basketball team, you can't be in the musical or play. That brings me to the other side of things. For those of you who know me, and probably those of you who don't, I'm not an athlete, and simply put, I'm probably negative 25% athletic. But I love watching sports, and when I came to high school, I got to learn from my friends about the amazing basketball tournament that is March Madness. And I'm not trying to say that the music kids aren't bonded in a way that the rest of us under can't understand, like Rhapsody. And I'm not saying that for the athletes either. But you don't have to fit a mold to come to East High and be loved. You don't have to drive to Menasha for a football game. You don't have to be a photographer, a chess player, or an intramural superstar. But you all have something in common, and that is that you are here today, and you have benefited from the love and support of East. You can choose to come to East and hate all four years of it, not join anything, and not really be anyone but you can also choose to live and love the people that do the same for you. Looking out into the real world, probably one of the most terrifying things you've been asked to do about a million times. Before I came to East, the only future I had was high school. I mean, college existed, but more as a thing I'd never quite get to. Senior year would be this ever blissful time, lies, <laughs> that never ended, which is obviously a lie because we're here, and somehow tens of thousands of dollars could fall into your lap so you could be shipped off to college for another four years, which is a hilarious joke. Now I'm going to UW Oshkosh to major in marketing, and I get to room with my best friend that I've had my whole life. 
which honestly is a dream that I realized because of the love and support at East High. However, the real world won't be as controlled as high school, and it may be hard to find people that you connect with because East High has given you so much support. But I truly think that if you are loving and supportive of other people, they will be the same way for you. If you treat life as something you have to be a part of, it's always going to feel that way. And when you get old, you might be sad or you might just feel unfulfilled. However, if you treat this life as something you want to be a part of, you will learn to love your work, family, friends, and everyone else who is deserving. I am so happy that we are all looking out to a future, and I hope you do it with few regrets. Because as we learned earlier this year with Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High, there is evil and sadness in the world, and we can't count on tomorrow. But we can be loving and supportive, and maybe even change the world just a little bit today. Thank you to everyone, especially the graduating class of 2018. Thank you, Maddie. Now it is time to direct your attention to the East High Orchestra, directed by Mr. Adam Brown. Wonderful job, orchestra. Next, I would like to give a warm welcome to East High's principal, Lori Furk. A little taller, right? That's about it. Thank you, and thank you to our orchestra under the direction of Mr. Adam Brown, our band under the direction of Mrs. Karen Eichen, and our choir under the direction of Mrs. Maureen Choflat. I'd like to take a moment at this time, those individuals that have served our country in past, present, or in future, if you would please rise so that we can honor you.
Thank you very much for your service, and thank you for serving in the future. Parents, grandparents, relatives, and friends of the class of 2018, members of the, of the Board of Education, Superintendent Langenfeld, faculty and staff of East High School, and other schools represented here this evening, on behalf of the Green Bay High School class of 2018, welcome. Today is the day that you have been patiently waiting for over the past several years of high school, graduation day. Today, you show everyone here the pride and honor of a Red Devil. I ask the teachers and staff members who have had the privilege and joy of working with the class of 2018, please stand to be recognized for your 13 years of educational guidance. Thank you for being here to help celebrate and support these graduates of the class of 2018. As principal of East High School, I have the honor and privilege to work with these individuals each day, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to be here today to celebrate all the accomplishments of these young individuals. It is and has been a pleasure to serve these students and their families, whether it is for one year or for the past four years. On behalf of East High School staff and myself, we thank you for your trust and you allowing us to serve your son or daughter throughout the final years of their K-12 education. Congratulations! Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. This quote by Dr. Seuss from the book, Oh, the Places You'll Go, reminds us today, that today is the beginning of the rest of your lives. As the book continues, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. These words indicate that it is your time to choose, your time to determine the next steps. Many individuals who are in attendance today have helped and supported you to this point in your lives from the first day of kindergarten all the way to your last day as a senior. These individuals have been there for you during the good times and the bad. They have helped guided you into the young adults you are today. These individuals will need to step back now and allow you to control your own life, to make your own decisions, to make your dreams come true. Your class chose a quote for, by Kurt Vonnegut which states the purpose of human life, no matter who is controlling it, is to love whoever is around to be loved. This seemingly simple quote sets the stage for you and those sitting around you to love and respect those around you and those you will meet along the way in your future. Follow the Red Devil way. Be respectful. Be dependable. And be prepared. These simple ideals will never let you down. They will keep you focused on the positive things in your life. Even though you have learned so much from our knowledgeable staff, there are so many more things to learn. I thought I knew it all when I graduated. I began to take control of my own path. I made choices that were both positive and negative. These choices led me to the path I am fulfilling now. But I used the guidance of those who supported me throughout school and took one step at a time to live my life and reach my goals. It, it took me time to grow and develop into the person I am now. I chose to love those around me in order to keep my life going, no matter the person, because I am, I am the one in control of myself. This road was not and will not be easy. Sometimes there'll be challenges in front of you. As Jordan Sparks says in her song, One Step at a Time, you want to show the world, but no one knows your name yet. You wonder when and where and how you're going to make it. 
you know you can if you just get the chance. This is now your chance and your future. You are about to do it on your own, but that does not mean you have to do it alone. Continue forward with those who are near and dear to your heart. Your purpose in life is ever evolving and, cha and changing to fit who you are as a person. Take the guidance you obtained from all of those around you and begin to build your path to your future. When you begin to look back at all the things that happened in school, I hope you look back with a smile. That the time you spent at East were years to remember and not regret. All the memories of homecoming, even if we might not have won a game, the dances, prom, especially bowling, I don't think administrators have lost to the SROs in four years. The musicals of Shrek and Chorus Line, the homework, and I know everyone's favorite subject was math and much more, and developed into the person you are today. These memories are different for each of you, whether they are good or bad. No one can, back, can go back and change the past, but you can use these memories to help you develop into, into yourselves into the future. Remember, you are the one in control of making the rest of your life. Do it with respect and love those around you. Being the mathematician that I am, did you realize that within a day, there are just 1,440 minutes? That is 5, or 525,600 minutes each year except for leap year. Take advantage of every minute. Don't waste the time that is given to you. Make the most of your lives and those around you. No matter what you're doing next as a job, a career, the military, technical school, college, or university, focus on being the best you can be in life because each of you deserves it. You, we are proud of you. Be proud of yourselves. Live your life with the respect that comes with being a Red Devil alumni. Again, your class quote by Kurt Vonnegut, a purpose of human life, no matter who's controlling it, is to love who, whoever is around to be loved. The purpose of your lives is out in front of, of you. Reach for it. You will be the one controlling it. Don't let others direct you in the wrong direction. Love whoever is around. You already have shown this throughout your time at East by caring for each other. Keep those values as you guide for whatever you do beyond the walls of East High School and into your future. Once a Red Devil, always a Red Devil. I know that this seems a little corny at the time, did to me too, but in time you will understand the very ideals and history that permeates throughout our building and in the community is quite amazing. East High School is, was established in 1860, and the first graduating class was in 1875. You are now the 143rd graduating class. Many have come before you, and many will come after you. Every class will have its own distinguishing characteristics, and this class is no different. This class has shown they are going to make a difference by caring, respecting, and loving individuals no matter who they are or what they do in life. That is why the quote your class chose for this occasion is so fitting. The class as a whole has shown that the diversity we have as a building is an asset and not a deficit. That as a class, they will go forth into the world and make the differences we are seeking as a community and as a nation. This class has shown that no matter your race or background, every person deserves to be treated with respect and dignity from the walls of East to the world. 
Some of you are sitting out there now thinking you are just another student and you hope this is over soon. We're getting there. I thought that myself, yes, over 30 years ago. But as I found out later, as my life unfolded, the many staff members I had the privilege to be around as a student provided me with the modeling and knowledge to help make a difference in our community. As I look out upon you now and understand my position as principal and mentor, I know I was taught well and given the confidence and skills to make a difference in our community. I, too, was taught that showing respect and love would and will make a difference that has no boundaries. Red Devil Pride has been part of your school's focus over your years at East High School. Our pillars of be respectful, be dependable, and be prepared have been weaved in everything we do. These pillars seem so simple, but they mean so much as you move on in life. The one pillar we, are, we as a staff hope we have instilled in you is to be respectful. It will not always be easy, but it, is certainly, it certainly can be the change agent that makes your life and our community better. This pillar will help you keep in mind that being respectful and caring to others is how you give love to all. As you move into this next stage of your life, remember to make your community better by how you treat others that you encounter in life. Sitting around you are your classmates who have been with, with you for 13 years or some for just a short time. What are you and your classmates going to be remembered for at East High? What does the future hold for you individually and as a class? I know that East High School will be a part of you, of who you are as a person as you move into the next stages of, of your lives. Each of you will always be a red devil. Carry this distinction with pride as many of us have, still do from past graduating classes. The tradition of East High School continues only because of gra graduates like yourselves. Our rich history and tradition continues to live and breathe with you, the graduates. Our community needs you to show your Red Devil pride. Be proud that you are always and will always be a Red Devil. Dr. Langenfeld, upon the endorsement of the faculty of East High School, who have expressed full faith and confidence in the achievements of this class and who have also verified the successful completion of their K-12 through program of learning, I am honored to recommend to you the Green Bay East High School Class of 2018. Well, good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Board of Education and with me tonight representing our board, our board members, Laura McCoy and Mr. Andrew Becker, as well as the administration, I want to extend a warm welcome to all of you, our honored guests. We thank you for your presence here this evening and also the support you have afforded these extraordinary students that I have the honor and privilege of standing before this evening, the graduating class of 2018. Our mission, our mission, our purpose for existence in the Green Bay Area Public Schools is this kind of opportunity, to make sure that every student is well served to be college, career, and community ready, inspired, inspired to succeed in this very global and dynamic world. And so to that end, the people who are on the sidelines here who grace the, the and center around our students work tirelessly in the administration to ensure that every child has what they need. So at the end of the day, in partnership with you, our families and community, these students can go out into the world and seek a two-year or four-year college option, successfully enter the workforce or the military. Students, I invite you at this time to really take a moment I want you to look around. I want you to find the adults who have helped shepherd you on the way. And I want you then to join me in offering them a really, really big round of applause. Take a moment. Look around. 
Find those you love and who have supported you. So as I was thinking about the graduating class of 2018, it dawned on me that they've only lived in the 2000s. Some of us lived well before the 2000s and some way before the 2000s, speaking for myself. But these are students who have only spent the majority of their life in the 21st century. Now, I have to share with you students before the year 2000, something was happening before that changeover to the year 2000. Parents and guests, if you would join me in thinking back, New Year's Eve 1999, there was this thing called Y2K. It's an abbreviation for the year 2000. And there was a lot of concern in the world that time because people were very, very concerned what would happen if the grids went down, if the computers weren't able to take those two-digit figures, the 99, and roll them into the year 2000. Some were worried it would go to 1900. Some were worried that the electrical grids would stop. And so there was a whole flurry of worry and activity around this. So what did people do? Well, some did nothing and continued New Year's Eve 1999 as usual. Others went and they filled up their bathtubs with water. So anybody who has wisdom on why that was occurring, let me know. And others went and stockpiled food. And then the, the year 2000 came and we all woke up the next morning. And here we are. And here we are 18 years later. And we're still OK. But during these last 18 years, the world has become extremely complex, and it's changed very rapidly with a lot of significant advancements in many areas. But I would offer, for me personally and for many, most notable is technology. Technology has changed how we communicate with one another, how we tell time, how we keep our calendars, how we entertain ourselves, how we learn and also how we see the world each day. Here are some of just the many, many advancements. And students, you may not even realize that before you were born, there were no iPods, there were no smartphones, there was no Facebook, MySpace, Snapchat, flash drives. There was no entertainment on YouTube or Google or Netflix or Hulu. There were no apps, there was no GPS, there were no blogs. And there was certainly no texting, no Twitter, no tweets, or streaming videos, to name a few things, or laptops. The world is really complex and changing. And for you students, you've also been part of a transformational changing world, a world that has shaped our future. In 2001, we had the 9-11 terrorist attacks that changed how we conducted our business from day to day. The Iraq War, Hurricane Katrina, the Boston Marathon bombing, BP oil spill, 2008 recession. The world has changed, but there is a humanness in all of this, and people always resort to that humanness in them. I would offer for all of us to think about the graduates that sit before us. They are very globally prepared to embrace the changing world, and they've been challenged to critically think about the world in which they live. As you can see, they move together and work as a team, and they give back a lot to our community. Many of the graduates that we celebrate tonight already have industry certifications and are heading directly into the workforce. You met our young men and women who are entering the military, and we are most grateful for your service. And then for all, many have taken advantage of the hundreds of ways that our students can earn college credit. The graduates across the district in, this, in Green Bay Area Public Schools have earned upward of almost $4 million in scholarships this year, and that's noteworthy.
So graduates, class of 2018, I have three pieces of advice for you. And it really goes with your motto. First, build and nurture and keep those important relationships. At the end of the day, people typically wish they had spent more time with those they loved and a little less time doing other things. And when communication as we have it and the mode that we have it in has changed dramatically, it's the face-to-face -face and it's the being present for one another that matters most. Relationships matter. No matter what the world is doing around you, it'll keep you anchored. Stay true to your values, number two, when you make choices. In the words of Mr. Rogers, you rarely have time for everything you want in life, so you need to make choices, and hopefully the choices you make come from that deep sense of who you are. In a rapidly changing world, it's important to know who you are, what's important to you, and then when those pressures come and the world keeps changing, you'll know where you want to go. It'll serve you well. And then third, never forget. Never forget where you came from. Our roots define who we are. Our roots are the lens that we look through, no matter how old we are. Looking back, for me personally, I never forgot the fact that I came from very, very humble beginnings, and I was very fortunate to learn the value of a hard day's work and the importance of giving back to my community. And while my parents never had the opportunity to go to college, they believed strongly in education and felt that it was important that you would move forward and give the world the best that you had, regardless of what you chose in life. As the world changes rapidly, it's important to always look back, remember you're a red devil, and you're always welcome here to guide you. So in closing, students, class of eight, 2018, as you embrace this rapidly changing world, here are my hopes and dreams for you. My hope, my wish for you is that you always recognize the importance of treating people with dignity, kindness and respect, nurturing those very important relationships to support you in the journey. My hope, my wish for you is that you always be your authentic self, staying true to your values, making life choices that align with who you are, and finally, that you never ever forget where you came from. In doing so, I can assure you, I can assure you that not only will you be able to adapt to this ever rapidly changing and complex world, you'll be able to achieve the dreams you hold in your heart today, and also you will bring to this world, a world in need, your very, very best self. Thank you. Now this is what you've been waiting for. And now, Principal Firk, it is my honor, it is my privilege to accept the graduating class from East High School, recognizing that they have fulfilled all the requirements for the Green Bay Area Public Schools Board of Education in the great state of Wisconsin. Congratulations, graduates, class of 2018. This is always the time you've been waiting for. Honor Guard, could you please help with present presentation of diplomas? Morgan Wigman.
Valeria Tavares. Madison Rogers. Mohammed Abdi. Nade Kasim Abdi. Nadifo Kasim Abdi. Najma Kasim Abdi. Nemo Kasim Abdi. Osman Ali Abdi. Robal Omar Abdi. Ahmed Mohammed Abdul. Mariela Aguero Nieve. Luis Francisco Ahumada. Andrea Alonzo. Brian Alvarez. Nova Anderson. Sydney Anne Marie Anderson. Myra Andrade Torres. Kimberly H. Arane. Cass Barr. Sierra R. Baird. Autumn Barth. Shamika M. Bennett. Emily Bierke. Shelby Borgers. Maria Baraz. Kylie Brandner. Jamile Brantley. Mason Michael Bryce. Nadine Bruffel to Rivers. Sarone Brown. Jacob David Bush. Sierra Marie Bustamante. Manny Bustamante Saldana. Cardona. Perla Carrion. Ryan Carter. Evelyn Castro Campos. Janessa Santino. Mallory Cervantes. Trudell Chapman. Sage Childers. Lauren Clark. Desiree Cooper. Oscar Cortez. Terry Delane Craig. Haley Rose Crockett. Mary Carmen Cruz Castillo. Robinson DeBick. Daniel De Jesus Alegria. Matthew James Delvo. <laughs> David Anthony Denrider. Noe De Diaz. 
Keith Jordan Doxtater. Lysa Lynn J. Dresser. Joshua Frank Dunlop. Kristen Duquesne. Jax Emil. Kaya Entringner. Grande Andre Estupinen. Sandy Farfan Hernandez. Sydney Austin Farah. Bennett William Farrell. Jamil Dion Hackett. Martin Flores. Astrid Nicole Fragoso. Troy L. Gale Jr. Sophia Gallus. Julian Garcia. Josh Garcia. Cassandra Garza. Juan M. Garza. Logan M. Gibson. Antonio Joshua Giordana. Melina Godoy. Jack Thomas Golan. Angela Jasmine Gomez. Aislin Anna Gomez. Jaylene Gonzalez. Julian Javier Gonzalez. Raul Gonzalez Jr. Angel Gonzalez. Karen Gonzalez Alvarez. Iana Marissa Grajeda. Mariana Celeste Grajeda. King Green. Armando Nava Guillero. Rayleigh Halonen. Ilhan Hashi. Mariah Jasmine Janae Hedrick. Rowan Helgeson. Christopher Hernandez. Samuel Hernandez. Victoria Lee Hernandez. Jose Hernandez. Carlos Hernandez and Helles. Alexis Hernandez Martinez. Hugo Hernandez Vera. Emma Heverly. Adrian Marie Hicks. Jacqueline Simona Hill. Taya Jordan Hone. Morgan Homey. Najib A. Husseiner. Morgana Hyde. Faiso Yusuf Ibrahim. Bartun Abdi Ibrahim. 
Najma Yusuf Ibrahim. Mercedes James Cook. Cassidy Jaworski Larson. Tyler Jerovitz. Abdulaziz Jamale. Sergio Jimenez. Dominique A. Johnson. Quinton Johnson. Talia Unique Johnson. Jeff Jones. Isabella Tayen Marie Kelly. Emily Ann Killian. Lindsay Rose Klug. Sonia Kalier. Michael Bradley Lamshire. Melissa Mary Lance. Vanessa Lara. Alejandro Loretto. Israel Larios. Evan Laitisi. Aaron Latour. Hu Ji Lee. Laitia Lee. Alyssa LaJoyce. Taylor Lope. Bernice Lopez. Daniel Lohr. Angelica Marie Lorette. Abdirahman Muhammad. Muhammad Muhammad. Nastesho Muhammad. Joseph Maldonado. Eduardo Maria Avila. Gisela Marine Gomez. Matthew Earl Martin. Angelica Martinez. Monica Martinez. Ruben Martinez. Kylette Martinez. Andrea Lynn McCorrison. Zachary Daniel McCurry. Brianna McDonough. Joel Mendez Jr. Victor Mendoza. Seneca Metoxin. Logan Michaels. Sebastian Masqueda. Lida Mua. Koa Lynn Mueller. Sasane. Marcella Navarro. Melissa Navarro. Shane Nelson. Paige Neumeyer. Allison Nordstrom. 
Mercedes Novak. Jamila Mohammed Noor. Yasmin Ilyas Noor. Orla O'Connell. Anna May Ohoro. Anjali Aleski. Malia Ope Thompson. Jade Olson. Bisharo Ahmed Omar. Yakin Omar. Hibo Osman. Nu Osman. Zamzam Osman. Alex Ostrowski. Emily Ann Ott. Carl Gunnar Pollock. Eric Perez. Ricardo Alonso Perez. Andrew Peterson. Aliyah Phillips. Leticia Phillips Castillo. Shani Picotti. Jake Prosky. Arian Pugh. Mickey Putala. Tiana Putzlocker. Riley Marie Pyatt. Rosanna Piper. Angel Quijas. Gonzalo Quiero Vargas. Joseph Ramirez. Juan Pablo Ramos. Selena Ramos. Sergio Ramos. Priscilla Razo. Sabrina Marie Razo. Santiago Reyes. Sonia Gabriela Reyes Lopez. Jessica Rivas. Luis Rivera. Geraldine Rivera Diaz. Devin Rodriguez. Xiomara Giselle Rodriguez. Lionel Rodriguez Gonzalez. McKenna Roman. Juan Rosas Leon. David Salas. Unique Rose Saldana. Brian Sanchez. Jasmine Sanchez. Paula Janeth Sanchez Lamon. Alexis Renee Sanders. Miracle Regina Sanders. Connor 
Alexander Sandifer. Malika Tanel Sanford. Jonathan Lee Schuen. Aaron Schultz. Connor Shunky. Greta Elizabeth Suiso. Amber Segfried. Zylea KD Justine Schuler. Mariona Teresa Seiler. Jacob George Simmons. Connor James Smith. Anna Solerio. Jasmine Spriggs. Michaela Marie Stitch. Ayana Mache Streeter. Braden Taylor Stren. Sophia Tao. Jordan Teterman. Caleb Michael Tim. Nimsi Shanice Tirado Nunez. Hunter Klahach. Anahi Valdivia Martinez. Lydia Victoria Vanden Elzen. Haley Vandenack. Nathan Duane Vandenaven. Evan James Vandriel. Sydney Vang. Victor Vang. Yang Vang. Priscilla Varela. Jacqueline Vargas. Jose Raul Vera. Christopher Vera Soriano. Joshua Villers. Denzel Ware. Zachary Watska. Diamond Deja Weatherspoon. Lauren Renee Whiting. Ethan Wisbisky. Destiny Ann Winters. Jonathan Woodhead. Colin Reed. Krissa Jong. Andy Yang. Doa Yang. Matthew Kong Mangyang. Stephanie Zuno. Graduates, if you please rise. Graduates, if you would please move your tassels from the right hand side to the left hand side.
Congratulations, class of 2018. Good job. Parents and family, we'll have a recessional. They'll be back because we're the last uh, graduating class of the day. You'll have some time to be on the floor to actually take pictures on the floor, but please wait. They'll be going back to where we had set up, and then they'll return to you as we're going through. Honor guards?